I'm sorry, when I was in Owensboro. So you have several. Connor Miller has on his opposite ankle uh, a tendon that is inflamed, and so he is playing tonight, but limited. Jack McCune is dealing with a wrist injury here tonight. He is good to go, but limited. Uh, overall, uh, the Mustangs uh, overall tonight, as I look at several others with injuries, it uh, is going to be uh, Carson Purvis, who had, uh, I think, a fender bender on the way in. He is okay, but, uh, of course, you never know with any effects from that. He was checked out by trainer Aaron Sladen. He is doing well, but just all sorts of injuries. And there was one more that I'm trying to think of if I scan the floor real quick. Uh, oh, Jordan Bridges, if you look at his right wrist, it is taped up, and he is limited, but still good to go for tonight. So a list of nagging injuries right now for McCracken County. Yeah, that's exactly right. You get down to this point in the season, you know, mid-February, somewhere in there, and you've got a lot of, uh, a lot of folks diving uh, for loose balls and going hard. And, uh, you know, Friday night, uh, Paducah Tillman, Jack McCune took a pretty hard fall. Uh, over there and, and came up, you know, I noticed he was clutching his clutching his wrist kind of close to his chest and um, This is that time where you really have to push through and uh, matter of fact We talked about uh, with coach Roberts after the Tillman game, you know, the uh, the effects of being off uh, from from snow uh, There for a few days, but the uh, the good side of being off for uh, for four or five days for snow is that you get some of your players to uh, to rest and recuperate so I just saw Jack McCune go up for a pretty hard dunk uh, there during warm-up, so uh, somebody maybe needs to tell him that his wrist is hurting. <laughs> it didn't look like it on that uh, on that tomahawk, so he uh, he's looking pretty good. Jackson Kloop just did the same uh, right behind him. So we're, um, and, and I'm sure, you know, I, I don't want to sound like we're making excuses, no. Eric. It's the same point in the season for Callaway, too. And uh, I'm sure they have a few injuries and bang-ups and twists and turns and, and all of the same. And so they're, uh, they're dealing with the same thing we are. And overall, the Callaway County Lakers, mirror images, really, of the McCracken County Mustangs when you consider. Pretty identical in points scored per game. Pretty identical in points allowed per game. Pretty identical in their scoring makeup and the fact that there's four that uh, average in double digits, and then one that averages about four in their starting five. Same for McCracken County. This is a group kind of built similar to McCracken County overall. You give McCracken County the advantage in the length department, but not by much. Uh, Callaway County kind of cousins with McCracken County. It really is, and if you look at their uh, their rank or their uh, record, rather in the region, their uh, their re their region record is the uh, is the same. Uh, ours in our region and theirs in their region and so they are very equally matched I, I think the um, the record the 20 and 6 record may a, may be a little bit misleading um, in that they had uh, a couple losses out of their um, you know out of their region uh, lost a couple games at, over at Lexington Catholic in uh, in tournaments over there and, and a loss over at the uh, against Lexington Catholic at the Owensboro Sports Center and so uh, they had a few losses away uh, over there so uh, I uh, ha as we've said especially down this point in the year a few games left you better be ready to play and um, I, I hope and I think that we uh, that we will be the uh, the Callaway County Lakers are um, are coached by Brad Cleaver, and um, Brad holds his team to a pretty high standard. Yep, and uh, and makes sure that they execute on the basics. They do real well um, on the um, on the minors, and so they uh, they're able to focus and major on the majors. And so it will be a fun one tonight, Callaway County and McCracken County. When we come back, we will take a look at the Brandon Clifton Allstate Insurance for Success. We'll touch on once again the Dr. Kyle Parrish injury report. And have our pregame prayer brought to you by Heartland Church and our national anthem brought to you by Rudy's Farm Center. All when we return, 99.5 The Fan. Rudy's Farm Center is your locally owned farm, industrial, and hardware store in Keppel. Now, the Rudy family is proud to be a part of Mustang Nation. Why don't you come out and enjoy a bag of famous popcorn? It's just 10 minutes from the school campus out on Highway 60. 
While you're there, take a good look at the selection of Traeger wood pellet grills, a great addition for your tailgate party. At Rudy's Farm Center, down Highway 60, Kevin. Are you dreaming about the perfect addition or update to your home? The equity in your house can turn into new opportunities. With a home equity loan at CFSB, you'll get customized, friendly service from our experienced lending team with loan service right here in your hometown. Start an application online today or stop by any of our eight convenient locations in Marshall, Groves, McCracken, or Callaway counties. Go to yourlifeyourbank.com for more information. CFSB, member FDIC, equal housing lender. When you need an attorney, there's lots to choose from. Shouldn't you pick a local firm with lawyers who've been here a long time, part of this community, lawyers who know the prosecutors, the defense attorneys, and have a relationship with them? Things out-of-state lawyers call us to find out. We're friends and neighbors. We're in this together. We're the law firm of Edwards and Couts, and we're here 24-7. When you need an attorney, call 270-442-9000 around the clock. Edwards and Couts, your local law firm. If you live with pain, you have good days and bad days. You deserve a pain-free life. And the first step is talking with your doctor about pain management with Dr. Ferdinand Salvacion at the Orthopedic Institute of Western Kentucky Pain Center. Dr. Salvacion specializes in pain management and will work with you to get you back to those good days. Talk to your primary care provider about pain management with Dr. Salvacion at the Orthopedic Institute of Western Kentucky. We all have dreams, and at Seaplant Federal Credit Union, we can help make yours a reality. Whether it's your dream vacation, your dream home, or your dream home away from home, Seaplant will walk you through the process from application to closing. Call or visit any of our nine local Seaplant branches and learn how you can enjoy all our member benefits and finance your dream. So don't wait. Get dreaming with Seaplant today. Member NCUA Equal Housing Lender. When it comes to opening a new bank account, I have very high opening requirements. Amazingly, FNB Bank's Your Start Bundle Checking Plus Savings pulls out all the stops. A 2.25% APY on your first $15,000, free nationwide ATNs, a great mobile app, and more. Hey, when you meet a bank that complies with your terms, it's not about small print. It's your big goals and dreams. Get your start at FNB. APY is annual percentage yield. Standard rate of 0.20% APY will apply to balances over $15,000. See bank for terms and conditions. FNB Bank, member FDIC. When you need an attorney, there's lots to choose from. Shouldn't you pick a local firm with lawyers who've been here a long time, part of this community, lawyers who know the prosecutors, the defense attorneys, and have a relationship with them? Things out-of-state lawyers call us to find out. We're friends and neighbors. We're in this together. We're the law firm of Edwards and Couts, and we're here 24-7. When you need an attorney, call 270-442-9000 around the clock. Edwards and Couts, your local law firm. The arena, McCracken County High School, getting you set for another fun night of basketball. Tonight being McCracken County and Callaway County as we sit high atop the Strawberry Hills Pharmacy Arena, getting you set for tonight's matchup between the Mustangs and the Lakers. Alongside Brent Hausman, I'm Eric Chumbler. Thanks for joining us tonight. And uh, Brent, the Mustangs, looking at them, you've watched them a little bit yourself, look pretty good. Uh, a little bit more tank on Jordan Bridges, I notice, uh, ever since he's gone out there. But using his hand that is taped up pretty well, and uh, hopefully he's good to go for the night. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, just kind of talking uh, here off the air, looking at stats a little bit closer. The uh, <laughs> You said they're cousins. The, um, the stats are eerie, eerie similar. Um, the... Lakers averaged 63.23 points on the season. We averaged 62.4. They allow 52 points. We allow 50. So um, that whole, the um, the delta in all of that is three points. I don't think that's the, uh, that's the closest uh, matchup that we've had all season. As I look at the uh, the field goal percentage, they shoot 48 and a half. We shoot 47 percent from the field. Um, here's one thing to watch, Eric. And um, while our uh, the three point percentage, they they shoot 36 percent from the three point line. We shoot 33. However, they have shot 600 
three-pointers on the season. We've shot 400. So they're going to shoot an extra for every two three-pointers we shoot. They're going to shoot three, and they're going to hit more. So that helps, obviously, drive their, uh, their point range up there. And so that's something, one of our keys uh, to success, we're going to have to guard that three-point shot. As it is McCracken County and Callaway County. Before we jump into our keys to success, let's look at Ken Dickerson listening on the Sailor Connection text hotline today. Good to hear from you. Also, uh, the McCune group listening in. Actually, Uncle Michael, the only one listening tonight as he's at the plant in Ohio. Good to hear from you all. And uh, I'm sure the others will be tuning in tonight as well. Let us know you're listening. 270-557-8223. Eric, seven zero five five seven eight two two three. It probably bears mentioning as well. I see the cameras set up, our media team at the table and up in the corner, and so we are on YouTube tonight, That's being right. a home game. Um, so you can listen to us and watch along if you want to uh, to dial in to YouTube. Indeed, and so make sure you find your way to YouTube. Just tweeted out the link. I put it on a score thread on the Facebook Lady Mustangs and Mustangs update page, and so several ways you can find that link or go to the McCracken Media YouTube channel and find it straight from there as well. McCracken County and Callaway County. Looking at Dr. Kyle Parrish injury report. As Dr. Parrish is available, if you're a primary care and non-operative sports medicine needs, 270-443-0010. Mentioned them already. Jordan Bridges, a nagging wrist injury. That is taped up tonight. Jack McCune, a wrist injury as well. That is taped up tonight. Carson Purvis is good to go. He was in a fender bender on the way here, but trainer Aaron Swain has checked him out. He is good to go, cleared all uh, tests that he put forth, and so that is good news. Glad that he is okay. Also, uh, should have written all this down as, oh, uh, Ian Hart has a swollen ankle as uh, he's dealing with that. I'm told it's black and blue. Connor Miller has a tendon that is inflamed in his ankle on the opposite on the opposite side that's right opposite foot and so they're um, all five starters warmed up they all five looked pretty good i didn't see anybody gimping uh gimping and limping around and so we're um we're we're gonna we're practice wounded. we're we're gonna practice tough love we're gonna say hey let's go suck it up we that's gotta right. play ball tonight and so I, I fully expect them to do that and i um Dustin Roberts will be watching them close. Um, it, another similar uh, similar statistic, the Callaway County Lakers play seven players. We play seven players. And so as far as depth off of the bench, ours is going to look very similar uh, to theirs as well. As we take a look, actually, let's go ahead and look at the Sailor Connection text hotline for tonight. As, uh, Alex Thomas chimes in. Good to hear from you, partner and uh listening to us also miss sandy sams chiming in as well good to hear from you miss sandy shane and mindy smith plus logan steckenrider listening in tonight also brandon alexander and friends haley moore and blair also listening in tonight as well you can watch don't forget on youtube tonight i have tweeted out the link for that it's uh, on the McCracken Media YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out and watch the action tonight between McCracken County and Callaway County. Quickly looking at our Brandon Clifton Allstate Insurance for Success. I'm going to say the big one for McCracken County tonight is guarding the perimeter. It has to be. You know, any team that's going to shoot on average of 600 three-pointers. Um, I don't know what 600. Let's do some quick math here. 600 divided by 26, they're going to shoot 23 three-pointers uh, on average. And so you're going to have to come out. You're going to have to guard that perimeter. you got to keep your hands up. You can't play lazy defense. Uh, of course, as they spread the floor and they come out, they pull out to that three-point line, it can open up the middle. And so uh, we're going to have to play good defense tonight, as we do every game, but especially uh, tonight guarding the, uh, the three-point perimeter. As that is your Brandon Clifton All-State Insurance for Success. You're always in good hands with McCracken County All-State Agent Brandon Clifton, 270-442-8234. As the Callaway County Lakers, you look at their starting five, where they're shooting from all beyond the perimeter. 
as uh, they all can feast or famine uh, from behind the three-point line. Yeah, absolutely. And so we'll be uh, we'll be watching tonight on uh, on our end uh, as well to see. You know, Jack McCune had a uh, really a game turnaround three-pointer uh, from dead away center on um, on Friday night down at Paducah Tillman, and that really kind of changed the pace of the game. And so we'll be watching to see uh, for him to do that. Uh, Carson Purvis had a couple three-pointers last week that really um, impacted that game and helped our uh, our comeback here at home, our last home game. So, uh, yes, we uh, we have to focus on Callaway, but we also got to focus on our, uh, on our shooting uh, as well. As we remind you, we will have trivia tonight for Rafferty's, so make sure you listen. I believe I'm going to do it around the third, maybe even the fourth quarter tonight, and so you will have a chance to win a free chicken finger salad, either fried or crispy, from Rafferty's. So make I'll sure something out there that may be, maybe I know you've got a couple in your in your hat over there, trivia question worthy statistics. There you go. Do you know? Maybe I'm putting you on the spot. You might be. McCracken County has a winning streak versus Callaway County. Would you be able to guess, unless you looked at the stat no. before you came, would you be able to guess how many games in a row McCracken has defeated Callaway County? So let me do some thinking here. The Callaway County Ball Club that was absolutely phenomenal and won the region, I believe – was around, so that would have been about, I'm going to guess roughly uh, 10, 11 games. Well, I mean, you're pretty close. The last win for Callaway County, and I'm going to share the score with you. That's the part that's going to blow your it. mind. Callaway County won over McCracken County. January the 3rd of 2015. That's right. And the score was 38 to 36. I remember it quite well, actually. And uh, Callaway County, a wonderful ball club that year uh, in what was <laughs> a defensive grinded out. Uh, the Mustangs fell short in a night where I feel like I will never get back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no uh, no refunds on no. uh, on nights like that. I've been doing uh, this about 10 years now, about 1,300 games or so in 10 years. That was one of them. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a tough one uh, for sure. But the positive side of that is we have a 14 and 0 record since then. 14 be, wins straight. That will be put to the test tonight. The Mustangs quite injured right now. And the Lakers playing some good basketball, actually coming off a loss. They're quite hungry for tonight. As uh, Coach Scott Sibbles chimes in, as uh, 2015 is correct. As, uh, that was a wonderful ball club for Callaway County. Coach, you can't win the salad yet. Uh, that one, I'm not going to give it to them just yet because we didn't fully give people Coach the opportunity to Coach, text in. you got to let us announce it first, buddy. <laughs> As we're set for the National Anthem, which is brought to you by Rudy's Farm Center, your locally owned farm, industrial, and hardware store in Kemble. They now stock made in the USA leather work boots. As we send it down to Daryl Good, here's tonight's National Anthem. And gentlemen, we ask that you please remove your hats for the play of our National Anthem.
National Anthem brought to you by Rudy's Farm Center, your locally owned farm, industrial, and hardware store in Kittle. They now stock made in the USA Thorough Good Leather Work Boots and offer a tradesman discount for you to take advantage of as well. Rudy's Farm Center, 10 minutes from McCracken County High School campus on Highway 60 in Paducah. As we get set for the starting lineups, Daryl Good echoes them in throughout the arena for tonight. Bringing them to you at home, it is Brent Hausman. All right, for your visiting Callaway County Lakers, number one, Connor Lockhart, number three, Jonah Butler, number 10, Aiden Clinton, number 23, Cole Lockhart, and your leading scorer for Callaway County, averaging 22 points a game, number 11, Eli Finley, and I hope you don't hear his name very much. We tonight. could be in trouble if you do. 22 points on the season. He doubles everyone else on the team as far as scoring. Number 11 is the number to watch for the Callaway County Lakers. All on your McCracken County Mustangs. Number three, Connor Miller. Number five, Jack Bradley. Number 12, Carson Purvis. Number 23, Ian Hart. And number 20, Jack McCune is your leading scorer for McCracken County. Jack McCune, of course, averaging 20 points a game as well. Eli Finley averages 22 points a game. That's Jack right. McCune averages 20. So, again, our leading scores statistics are just about exactly the same. As you said, they have four starters in double figures. We have four starters in double figures. So, it's going to mirror all night long. And so, those are your starting lineups tonight for McCracken County. And for Callaway County, the Mustangs very much wounded right now, but they are giving it a go, and it showed on Saturday as it was a combination of injuries, fatigue, and honestly, Henderson playing quite well to give the Mustangs just their third loss of the year. McCracken County will be wearing their home white uniforms with the crimson McCracken across the front. Crimson numerals as well, outlined in black. Callaway County. A rare look for them, the navy blues with the light baby blue Callaway County across the front outlined in red. For Callaway County, it'll be 6'4 sophomore Jonah Butler to jump. For McCracken County, it'll be 6'4 senior forward Jack McCune is our head official. Gets the go-ahead from the other officials and points to the captains to let them know which way they're heading. He'll blow his whistle one time. The tip is almost a false start. Now it's in the air. It's going to be controlled by Callaway County as the Lakers will bring it into the front court. Eli Finley, the sharpshooter, goes to the top of the key towards the right side now, brings it back. Left-hand dribble goes towards the far left-hand side now as he feeds it over towards the corner to Lockhart. Now straight away, Lockhart hands it off to Clinton. Clinton in some trouble, hands it off to Lockhart. Now back out to Clinton, guarded by Hart. Clinton using a right-hand dribble. As he brings it back towards half court to reset over to Lockhart. Now swung towards the corner as that will go to Butler. Butler using the dribble, picks it up. Straight away to Finley. Hands it off to Lockhart. A long three, no good. Rebound comes down to Connor Miller and the Mustangs will push it. Jack Bradley to bring it up for the Mustangs as he directs traffic. It will go to Hart. Back to Bradley. Bradley on the block to McCune. He turns into a double team. Is in a little bit of trouble, deflected, then blocked. That rarely happens as it was a block by Jonah Butler. Eli Finley goes over towards the left-hand side to Lockhart. Is Lockhart using a right-hand dribble. Lockhart on the wing. Gives it straight away to Finley. As Finley brings it back, guarded closely by Miller. No score, 644 in this opening quarter. Finley. I, don't have, uh, I don't have height. Uh, stats here, but it looks like they, um, they're probably a little taller, a little longer than we are as, uh, it, as we match player to player. Finley, crossover dribble against Bradley, works towards the foul line, now brings it in, is a long step forward, puts it up and in. Eli Finley breaks the scoreless tie, it's 2 nothing. 6-18 in this first quarter. Eli Finley's got a pretty big build, more like a Jack McKean. Uh, than a Jack Bradley, and so he's going to be physical and going to be hard to hard to guard. Ian Hart straight away can't connect on the three, and it's recovered by Butler. Butler goes on the left-hand side to Finley. Finley hands it off now straight away to Clinton. Swung towards the left-hand side to Lockhart. 
Now towards the right-hand side, it goes back to Butler, into the lane, off the glass, puts it in. And quickly, Coach Roberts wants to take a 30-second timeout. The Mustangs, first couple of series offensively, not very fluid, but uh, not really any transition opportunities yet either. Yeah, we just haven't settled in. And so um, Callaway is probably the, uh, probably the aggressor uh, at this point on the soccer field. We say the ball's rolling downhill. Uh, for them, and so it just seems to be a little easier for them. That was a, um, a pretty good drive, take nothing away from him. Uh, pretty good drive to the bucket, but uh, maybe a little too easy. And so we'll uh, we'll need to tighten up in the uh, in the paint there. And so McCracken County trails for nothing. 5:49 in this opening quarter. Let me know you're listening. Text on the Sailor Connection text hotline 270-557-8223. 270-557-8223. As it goes on the block to Ian Hart, his layup is good. Great pass, great assist by Connor Miller to find uh, Ian Hart over on the far side of the lane. Ian came in strong with a left-handed layup. Mustangs trail 4-2, 520 in this opening quarter. Goes on the wing to Lockhart. Lockhart now straight away. And now back to Lockhart. Swung out to Connor Lockhart. On the wing to Clinton. Clinton feeding it now into Cole Lockhart. Back to Butler. As Butler crossover works towards the paint. Met by a double team. A little bit of a flop. Shot no good. Rebound comes down to McCune. McCune gives it off to Bradley. Great help side defense by Jack McCune there to create that wild shot. Bradley on the left-hand side of the floor as he faces the rim. Goes towards McCune. McCune, top of the key to Miller. Miller finds McCune down low. His man falls. Layup's good. Good, uh, good assist, good find by Connor Miller to find Jack cutting through. Mustangs with four unanswered as a foul on the floor is going to be on McCracken County, I believe, on Jack Bradley. <laughs> 4 and 39 in this opening quarter alongside Brent Hausman. I'm Eric Chumbler. Thanks for joining us from Strawberry Hills Pharmacy Arena. It'll be Eli Finley as he... Has some space from Jack Bradley, now bodied up with him. Finley with a curl towards the left time, feeds it off to Butler. Butler towards the far side, now out it goes to Lockhart. As Connor Lockhart feeds it back to Butler, his three is no good. Rebound comes down to McCracken County. Callaway moves the ball really well. A lot of extra passes trying to get the open man, the open shot. Purvis a baseline drive, floats one up, no good, but he draws a foul, and that will send. Carson Purvis to the line to shoot two. An adventurous ride over here for Carson Purvis. It's a little bit of a fender bender. Everyone was okay. And just out of precaution was checked out, excuse me, by trainer Aaron Swain. And uh, through all protocols just to make sure. And he was good to go. As Jordan Bridges checks in, he's got extra bandages on his right hand. He's one of several Mustangs right now that are Wounded as the second free throw is good. 6-4 Mustangs, 6 unanswered after a 4-0 start from Callaway County. Yeah, Jordan's had a really good season. He uh, he picked up quite a few minutes during uh, Connor Miller and Ian Hart's absence. And so uh, Jordan back to that six-man position, pretty uh, pretty vital, uh, crucial role as we end this uh, regular season. Jonah Butler using the dribble for Callaway County just in front of half court now approaches the Foul line goes on the left wing now to Cole Lockhart. His three is perfect. Wow. What a pure shot. I don't think the net moved. As that makes it now 7-6 Callaway County. 3.30 in this first quarter. Jack Bradley top of the key. Goes on the wing to Bridges. It's Bridges back to Bradley. He's going to take a step back three. That's good. They're, uh, they're playing Jack Bradley as several teams have this year. They're playing Jack Bradley a step or two off as if saying, hey, go ahead and shoot. And so he kind of made them pay that time. Left side three from Callaway is no good. Bridges gets the board, hands it off to Bradley. Jack into the front court, now brings it towards the right-hand side of the floor, gets a signal from Coach Roberts, and sets up the offense. And we have an official game. We'll tell you about that coming up. <laughs> Jack Bradley goes on the wing to Miller. In the corner to McCune. He'll take a spot up three. That's good. Yeah, I don't understand. Um, Cole Lockhart, again, was a step or two off, three or four feet off of Jack McCune and didn't really have shoot over him. He just shot in front of him. As a fadeaway jumper is perfect from Eli Finley. 
12-9, McCracken County. You reckon he shot that this year? <laughs> Mercy, that looked great. He MJF. looked very, very comfortable shooting that. McCune, another three. That's good. He's heating up. He's got eight. 15-9, the Mustangs on top. 2-15 opening quarter. Three trips down, three three-pointers from McCracken County. That's efficient. County. We'll take it. So Callaway County on the return, and that's an offensive yep. foul. Wonderful job on the Mustangs, Jack Bradley. Yeah, Eli Finley has done that a time or two. He's uh, he's complaining to the ref now, but Eli, as we pointed out earlier in the night, he's a pretty physical guy, kind of pretty, got some broad shoulders, you know, pretty strong, and he, uh, he kind of lowers that shoulder to create space to, before he does the turnaround jumper. Want to give a shout out to Sheila Davis listening in tonight. Good to hear from you as uh, another one of my friends that absolutely loves math. Kelly Morris listening in tonight. And it is an official ball game. Buddy and Joyce Lewis listening in. It's uh, always good to hear from the Lewises. It's close. Baseline drive gives it back out now as that goes to Bridges. Straight away to Purvis. Off of the screen. Purvis into the corner now. Down low to Bridges as he tries a backdoor cut. Turns. Puts it up. Stripped. Goes out of bounds off Callaway County. Much to the chagrin right now of Colt Basil, who tried to put up a protest. It's either a foul or it's McCracken's right. ball. So you either grabbed his arm and, and he threw it out of bounds or you knocked it out of his hands, one way or the other. As it goes on to Venables, pump fakes, up and under, layup no good. Rebound comes down to Colt, but he is brought down, and he is fouled. And I think to your point, Callaway County was wanting a travel, but if that's a travel, that's also a foul. Yeah, one way or the other. And so... Coach Cleaver, who's done an absolutely wonderful job coming back to Callaway County as alma mater, putting up a protest as Klopes hook shot is perfect. Klopes got several inches of height advantage there over uh, Connor Lockhart. 17-9, the Mustangs on a run as Butler gives it now straight away to Connor Lockhart. Crossover dribble, picks up the dribble, in some trouble, now feeds it off to Finley. Finley splits a double team, stripped away for a moment, comes back to Finley though, as Finley gets in the air, feeds it left side to Basil, now back out top it comes to Butler, he swings it over to Finley, the Mustang defense quite active early, Finley straight away, pump fakes, penetrates all the way to the low block, he puts one up no good, but he's fouled. Jordan Bridges wanting the uh, block shot rather than, uh, than the whistle, but maybe some body contact there. And it will send Jonah Butler to the foul line. All these shout outs brought to you by the Sailor Connection, your locally owned Verizon Wireless Retailer on Lone Oak Road in Paducah. We'll have a few more shout outs to get to in just a little bit. Nice so, folks there at Cellular Connection. That's right. As Butler's free throw is rare, no good. I've got Ian Hart and Jack Bradley coming back in the game. Jack McCune and Carson Purvis. Um, I've been wrong all season long, so I'm not even going <laughs> to say it. There's a minute and one second left in the first quarter. You would think they may rest till the end of the quarter, but I, I kind of doubt it. As Butler, his free throw is good. People know you and I have had a lot of airtime together. As you consider soccer season and some of the volleyball season, now basketball season, as we have 53 seconds left. You and I start to dress alike as it goes to Hart on the block. Do you have Hart. to tell everything? <laughs> Puts one up no good, but he's fouled. And, oh, they say he traveled. Yeah, I think Cleaver, Coach Cleaver helped. to the block as it's a turn by Butler. His reverse layup is good. Jonah Butler on the reverse. He made that look easy. He did. 20 seconds left, 17 to 12. The Mustangs by five, 17 seconds. As Jack Bradley goes to Hart. As Ian Hart watches the clock, it's down to seven seconds. Hart, he's gonna take a spot up three. That's no good. Rebound comes down to Callaway County. And a half-court heave. I'm sorry, a full-court heave barely makes it half-court, and that'll do it for the first quarter. After one quarter of play, the Mustangs lead Callaway County 17-12. to 12. 
We'll keep it right here. Overall, pretty good quarter for the Mustangs when you consider the slow start. Still able to put up 17 points. Well, I think the difference there, the three three-pointers, uh, three trips down in, down the floor in a row, so they scored nine quick points. Uh, really is the uh, is the difference there if we take three points off of that if they would have just traded two point baskets it'd have been 14 to 12 uh, you know really close there and so they're uh, they're shooting the ball really well Jack McCune uh, picked up two of those and Carson Purvis uh, picked up a three point shot from out there as well and also you and I I mentioned came to the game tonight dressed alike I was thinking I would go home change clothes and uh, I went home and put on some black joggers with my Mustangs radio quarter zip. And uh, I look. I look, and you and I are wearing the same exact quarter zip with the same black joggers. So I, uh, I spoke to a group at, uh, at 3 o'clock, Leadership Paducah class number 36, and Berlin Brower's daughter, Ellie, happened to be in the class. And she informed me that not only was I wearing Old Miss colors, <laughs> but it was Callaway County's colors. And I told her, I said, I may not have time to go home and change. She said, I suggest you make time. There you go. Said, yes, ma'am, Miss Brower, I will do that. As the Mustangs lead at 17 to 12, start of the second quarter. Mustangs basketball as it goes to Hart on the wing. He stops his 17 footers, too strong. Rebound corralled by Clope, who puts it up and in. Yeah, I think Jonathan Venable may have actually tipped that ball up a little bit. Jackson Clope took it away from his own player to, uh, to get that basket in. And so that makes it now 19 to 12. More shout-outs to do that in just a moment as getting behind his defenders, Cole Lockhart feeds it off to Butler to the opposite ball. It gets blocked by McCune. Mercy. Tomahawk blocked by McCune. He sent that one into the uh, into the concession stand, actually. And so at that point, uh, prior to that block, McCune came over from the help side uh, to get that. Out of ten players, not one player, McCracken or Callaway, were in the lane. As it will be Callaway County the possession. That's what they like is to space it out as best they can. Then it's stripped away and stolen. Nice job by Jack Bradley to corral on it. It will be a jump ball that will keep it with Callaway County. So Callaway keeps the ball, but we get the arrow. So we'll get the next one. Great hustle by Jack McCune to notice that ball on the ground and go scrambling. And so Callaway possession, the Mustangs lead 19 to 12, as it is going to be Jonah Butler. As Butler picks up his dribble, in a little bit of trouble, looking to get rid of it, now does straight away to Cole Lockhart. As Lockhart back on the wing to Butler, as Jonah Butler crosses over his dribble, crosses it over again, behind the back now, goes on the left side to Cole Lockhart. Now right side is a pump fake, step back, almost shot a three, was Connor Lockhart, gives it straight away to Aiton Clinton. Clinton on the wing to Jonah Butler. As Butler using his dribble, spin move towards the paint, gives it out right side into the corner. It goes to Finley. Finley all the way, finger roll in the paint's no good. Rebound comes down to Clope. Clope hands it off to Miller, who will bring it up to the Mustangs towards Finley, the left. Finley made a very strong move there. Wanted uh, wanted a little help from the stripes, but he did not get it. Bradley goes on the wing to Venable. Is Venable back to McCune? McCune straight away to Miller. Miller towards the low block. Nice strong move. Fade away shot no good. Rebound comes back to Callaway County. On the left hand side it's going to be Cole Lockhart. Hands it off to Butler. His three. No good. Rebound comes down to Connor Miller. 19 to 12. The Mustangs by seven with six minutes in the first half. I like how Connor is strong down there on the boards. A lot of, uh, a lot of weak side rebounds seem to go Connor Miller's way. As Jack McCune angles between two defenders, his right-hand floater, no good. Rebound comes down to Callaway County. Both teams, like the start of the first quarter, cold to start the second quarter. Finley, step back, fadeaway is no good. Rebound comes back to McCracken County. High arching. It was. Uh -huh. shot. His shot may have been altered there just a hair. So the Mustangs will have it as Jack McCune straight away. Goes on the wing to Bradley. As Bradley goes to McCune, puts the dribble down towards the low block, met by a defender, turns 360, puts it up, contact no good, rebound back to McCune though, as he gives it back to Venable. Venable baseline drive, spins back to McCune. McCune using a right hand dribble, and now resets for the Mustangs who lead it 19 to 12. 5 in this second quarter. 
Jack Bradley for the Mustangs, top of the key. Gets a signal from Coach Roberts, works towards the right-hand side. Gets a screen from Clope, goes straight away to McCune. McCune left side as it goes to Miller. Baseline drive, takes a lot of contact, wow. turns, puts it up, no good. Rebound recovered by Finley, who brings it up for the Lakers. Finley all the way, stops, five-foot jumper's good. He saw Jack Bradley set up to take a charge, so he did the uh, pull-up jumper instead. So that makes it 19-14 to 14 now as the seal finally comes off the uh, basket. And the Lakers get within five. Goes to Klobe straight away as the freshman gives it off to Venable. Venable all the way towards the low block. A little running. Flutters good. He was heading in towards Lockhart, who has six or eight inches on, on him on height-wise. So he just very smartly pulled out six or eight-foot running jumper. Bottom soft, of the net. Soft touch as it goes on the mid block for Callaway County now. Nice cut to the rim as a layup up and in for Connor Lockhart. Nice pass, nice shot. 21-16, Mustangs by five, 355 in this second quarter. Jack Bradley goes straight away to McCune as McCune goes on the wing to Venable. Straight away now to Miller, swung left side to Bradley. As Bradley gives it off to Clope. Clope back to Bradley in the corner. As Bradley stops, free throw line jumper is good. Jack with five. The lead is 7, 23-16, 3.30 in this first half. Alongside Brent Hausman, I'm Eric Chumler. Thanks for joining me. Becky Wellington listening in tonight. The Skaggs family listening in. As it goes on the block, Jonah Butler gives it back out now. Aiden Clinton. Clinton towards the left-hand side to Cole Lockhart. Cole Lockhart feeds it to Finley just in front of half court, guarded by Venable. Ven or Finley, excuse me, clears traffic a little bit. Crossovers picked away. And nearly stolen, Finley comes away with it. Feeds it on the right-hand side as there's a collision taken away by Bradley. Up the floor to Venable, his left-hand layup, no good. Tipped back up and in by Clove. Great follow by Clove. He's running the floor hard, Eric, tonight on both ends. And uh, it really paid off for him there. Jackson, just a freshman. Future bright for that young man. What a talent. Finley on the right-hand side. Using a right-hand dribble. Now feeds it towards the mid-block. Is that his Butler? There's a lot of contact, shot no good. It's going to be a foul on Callaway County. That's one of those, I think you've either got to call a charge or a block, but it's most definitely one of the two. And Callaway County still getting to go to the foul line because there was a foul shortly later. Yeah, the coach is uh, coach is still arguing his case. It, it has to be one or the other. We've had several of those tonight. And so it will be Jonah Butler shooting two. It's been a well-officiated game tonight for both games. As the first one is good, JV contest, the Mustangs, or no, freshman contest. The Mustangs won. It was a well-officiated ball game by these three officials. So far, so good in this one. He's got a very slow, long, deliberate. Yes, he does. And the free throw, no good. As it will be. Connor Miller goes off of the screen. His 18-footer is too strong. He goes over the backboard. It will be back to Callaway County. 25-17, the Mustangs by eight. It's good to be home in uh, Strawberry Hills Pharmacy yes, Arena. Yes, it is. Owensboro did not treat us well on Saturday. A rare loss for the Mustangs as it comes straight away to Clinton. Now feeds it to Finley. Mustang still ranked in the state, though, as Finley puts one up, no good. Rebound comes left side, though, back to Callaway. Butler reverse layup, no good, but he's fouled. He, uh, he waited. He got Ian Hart in the, uh, in the air, off his feet, a little off balance, able to draw the contact. Both the Mustangs and Lady Mustangs ranked top ten in the state in different polls that came out today. I think the Lady Mustangs were fifth. In one that I saw today, there was another one, but I don't remember exactly where they were in that one. Lady Mustangs back in action Friday night against Graves County. That should be a good one here. Boys game will follow that one. One more for Butler. His free throw is no good. Rebound comes down to Clope. So Clope gets another board, hands it off to Miller, who walks it up for the Mustang. 150 first half, 25-18 Mustangs. On the mid block, now actual block. It's poked away from behind, knocked loose. It comes out to Purvis, though. Purvis 
Resets for the Mustangs to Miller. Minute 38, first half. Mustangs by seven, 25-18. Purvis spins in the lane. His floater, it's short. Rebound comes back to Callaway County. Finley up the right sideline, opposite sideline to Butler, who gives it off to Lockhart. Connor Lockhart gives it out to Cole Lockhart. Now in towards the corner to Aiden Clinton. His three, no good. Rebound comes down to McCracken County. Minute 15, first half. Hunter Miller several inches shorter than Jackson Clope, but they were both, they both skied to the same height, and Connor Miller ended up with the rebound over Jackson. As Miller all the way to the rim, puts one off the glass, no good, and a rebound comes down to Butler for Callaway County. Mustangs have gone cold last few trips, and now the Lakers will have it. Wide open is Connor Lockhart. His three is perfect. Yeah, we can't, uh, we can't let him shoot that out there by himself. What was once an 11 point game down quickly to four. 40 seconds left in this first half. 25 21 Mustangs. As it is going to be hard. Straight away to Miller. Mustangs may wait for the last shot. We'll see. 30 seconds left. Now Miller straight away goes to Hart. Hart gives it to Purvis in the corner. Now hands it off to Miller. 17 seconds. Miller. Using a left-hand dribble right on the Mustang logo at half court. Towards the left side, Purvis. His spot up left side. Three is cool. That's a, uh, that's a big three for Carson to come back and answer. Oh, three-quarter court shot just misses. No good from Aiden Clinton, and that'll do it for the first half of play. After one half of play, the Mustangs on top, 28-21. First half scoring in the Estes Chiropractic second half adjustments when we return, 99.5 the fan. Actually, we're going to keep it right here because my computer has frozen. And so, Brent, <laughs> uh, your final thoughts on that first half as I reboot it. Would you like for me to sing? Or? Uh, that, I'm actually not against that. I think the listeners would enjoy that, honestly. <laughs> Well, I think we'll just talk about the game instead. Don't throw it out there if you can't back it up. <laughs> I can't back that Oh, I can. I am a shower singer and a car singer. Why not a radio singer? Uh, I sing to my car radio. There you go. I don't okay. think you want me to here. 28-21, our uh, halftime score. The final few minutes, your thoughts on it. Yeah, McCracken able to win both quarters. At the end of the first quarter, it was 17-12. At the end of the second quarter, 28 -12. Uh, to 21, so that means they won the second quarter 11 to 9 uh, as well. And so uh, they played pretty good, uh, pretty good defense the whole game, pretty good offense. At this rate, it will be a very, very low scoring game. You tired? Um, I am a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, 56 to uh, 42. Uh, would be your uh, your final score, and so that uh, your Callaway County Lakers averaged 63 points a game. They're on pace for 42 right now, and so um, McCracken playing very good defense. We have to uh, we have to give them that. Uh, some good three-point shooting on our side. Of course, Callaway picked up a couple of three-pointers as well. It is now time to go to commercial break. When we come back, first half scoring. Estes Chiropractic second half adjustments. When we return to Strawberry Hills Pharmacy Arena, 99.5 The Fam. Doing it yourself? You need a few things from Kitmo. I need wallpaper removers, wood floor finishers, pressure washers, dry wall lifts, material lifts, hole saws, jigsaws, saw horses, air compressors, nail guns, staple guns, caulk guns, and wet dry vacs. Uh, can you repeat that? If you need it, chances are you can rent it at Kitmo, the only 100% locally owned equipment rental. They've been at it for 45 years. North 8th Street at the foot of the Brookport Bridge. You get Mo at Kitmo. Your locally owned farm, industrial, and hardware store in Keppel. Now, the Rudy family is proud to be a part of Mustang Nation. Why don't you come out and enjoy a bag of famous popcorn? It's just 10 minutes from the school campus out on Highway 60. While you're there, take a good look at the selection of Traeger wood pellet grills, a great addition for your tailgate party. At Rudy's Farm Center, down Highway 60 in Cap. When you need an attorney, there's lots to choose from. Shouldn't you pick a local firm with lawyers who've been here a long time, part of this community, lawyers who know the prosecutors, the defense attorneys, and have a relationship with them? Things out-of-state lawyers call us to find out. We're friends and neighbors. We're in this together. We're the law firm of Edwards and & Katz, and we're here 24-7. 
When you need an attorney, call 270-442-9000 around the clock. Edwards and Couch, your local law firm. Back here, Strawberry Hills Pharmacy Arena, the Mustangs by 7, 28-21. As we welcome you back to the Baird Broadcast booth. Alongside Brent Hausman, I'm Eric Schumler. Let's take a look at the first half scoring. And with that first half scoring, it is Brent Hausman. Yeah, I don't know that there were um, a whole lot of surprises, uh, but maybe one for me, I guess. Connor Lockhart had five points. Uh, Jonah Butler may be your surprise on the Callaway side. He led the scoring in the, uh, in the first half for your Callaway County Lakers. Uh, he averages 11.7 points per game, and he had seven in the first half. So may have to pull out and, uh, and guard him a little bit closer. Went to the free throw line. He had six free throw attempts in that half. Uh, Eli Finley had six points. Uh, no three-pointers for him. Cole Lockhart had one three-point shot. And so um, the Callaway County Lakers only had two three-point shots in that first half and so as we discussed uh, one of the keys to success was pulling out and, uh, and guarding that three I think they did that pretty well on the McCracken County end it looks like McCracken County has six players in uh, in the scorebook tonight versus Callaway only having four uh, Jack Bradley has five points he picked up a three-pointer right there at the top of the key Carson Purvis picked up a big yes, he did. three point right there to end the second half uh, for five points. Jack McCune leads all scorers in the game with eight points. Of course, he had two three pointers. Uh, Jonathan Venable had two. Enhart had two. Jackson Clope had six uh, points. Four of those, or two of those baskets, off uh, second chance uh, points, getting a rebound down low. And so I commend. Jackson Cloak for his effort in the paint and getting that shot back up. Uh, three pointers, McCracken County four, Callaway County two. As we take a look, before we do, as I look at the Sailor Connection text hotline tonight, faithful listener Becky Wellington listening in. Good to hear from you, Miss Becky, as always. Be seeing you on the softball field here in about six weeks as the Lady Mustang season begins. Six weeks from yesterday for both the Mustangs and Lady Mustangs on the Diamond. I had some uh, baseball, softball thoughts yesterday when yep. I came out of my office after work, and it was in the 60s, and the sun was up, and I, whoo, springtime is here. It's hard to believe the district tournament is in two weeks. The regional tournament is in three weeks. Girls' state tournament in four weeks. Boys' state tournament in five weeks. And then kickoff baseball and softball here on 99.5. The fan in six weeks. Two, three, four, five, six. Didn't sound like a break in there. There is not. <laughs> there is not. I didn't miss it. There is none. There is not. So uh, I'll be home sometime around middle of June, and uh, that'll be a glorious day, but a lot of McCracken County sports between now and then. Absolutely. Coach Hobbs, I know, has to be uh, getting the spring itch. So I'm sure he is uh, I'm sure he's ready, and uh, they're throwing – Growing hard at this point. That's right. And uh, Coach Hayden for the softball side here tonight. And uh, that's not too far away. Looking at the Estes Chiropractic second half adjustments. We need that back adjustment. Go see the back brothers. Kevin and Kelly Estes of Estes Chiropractic. They will get you in, adjusted, and out. Feeling better than ever in no time at all. The back brothers. Kevin and Kelly Estes of Estes Chiropractic. Central Avenue in Paducah. Callaway County's dangerous. They can hit that three-point shot. As we talked about, you have to pull out and guard that. Uh, but Callaway several times was running all five of their offensive players outside of the three-point line. That's right. Which really, it opens up. There's nobody in the paint. Uh, so if your defensive move or you're, uh, you're the defender and you allow your player to get around you, they've got a wide open lane. And so they had three or four wide open runs, wide open layups there. Uh, to get and so yes we have to guard that three-point shot but also we need to be conscientious and make sure that we don't let our defenders get in behind us and uh, also from McCracken County the efficiency went up quite a bit in that first half uh, after a slow start need to continue that for the Mustangs 
Yeah, absolutely. I, I agree with you. I like the uh, I like the shooting uh, that we had. We really haven't seen a uh, the full court press tonight uh, like I thought we uh, like we like I thought we might. Um, you know, the whole uh, I kind of thought we'd see it more in the uh, in the first half there. So I don't know. We may may pick it up and see it the uh, the second half. One thing for sure that um, the uh, the starters, you know, we were concerned about injuries uh, coming into the game tonight, but it looked like everybody played pretty uh, pretty strong. I didn't see any substitutions. Uh, it looked like for for injury or illness. And so that is your Estes Chiropractic second half adjustments. We need that back adjustment. Go see the Bag Brothers, Kevin and Kelly Estes of Estes Chiropractic. They will get you in adjusted and out, feeling better than ever. 1560 no WPAD Paducah, 99.5 FM translator, WPAD Central Avenue, Avenue in Paducah. The half, the Mustangs lead 28-21. And uh, it was the second half that was absolutely brutal for the Mustangs on Saturday as we had the lead at the half, 22-19. But towards the end of the third quarter, the beginning of a 21-3 Henderson County run took place. And then before you knew it, the game was out of reach. Yeah, that's only a uh, only a run. A 21-3 is only a run that an offensive team dreams about. That's it's right. a coach's worst nightmare. The lid is on the basket. You can't hit anything. You can't stop them. It seems like every call goes their way. Every ball bounces their way. And literally halfway through a 21-3 run, your just hands are in the air thinking, good Lord, what do we have to do? And so uh, we do want to see them continue to play strong, be consistent. Uh, Seven-point lead against Callaway at the first half. I, uh, I'll be pleased with that. I'll take that. So we want to see them pick right up where they left off. And so we are about ready for the second half. The Mustangs will start with a basketball here in the second half. And the Mustangs will have their hands full. Their work cut out, granted up by seven, but that can be erased quickly with the team that shoots so well behind the three-point line. Jack Bradley goes on the right-hand side to Connor Miller. As Miller straight away to Bradley. Bradley towards McCune. As McCune puts down the dribble, stops, brings it back out. Now towards the left-hand side of Bradley. Now straight away McCune, pump fakes, penetrates, in towards the lane, off the glass, no good, but he is fouled as he went down hard, but he's okay. That was Jack McCune saying, I've got this, boys. They, uh, they cleared out the left-hand side of the lane. Jack doesn't mind going to his left side, and so fake to his right, came back to the left, and, uh, and drove the basket. As a free throw from McCune is no good. A lot of retired wins in this building tonight. Berlin Brower is here as he usually is. You think he has a ticket? Because <laughs> a free throw for McCune is good. I think he just says, I'm here. Or you think he walks in the back door? I think that's exactly right. Like that country song. You think I walked in here like I own the place? Well, I do. That's right. Is uh Let's we'll talk about more retired wins that are here tonight. As a uh, foul underneath, I believe, away from the basketball. I'll have to check and see who they whistled that on. They're going to call Jack Bradley on a uh, on a hold on the offside. You were right; it was away from uh, away from the basket. Unfortunately, Eric, that's his third foul uh, with 7:25 left in the third quarter. That's early, early in the game. So. He's going to get an extended break, and Jackson Clope, not a uh, not a guard for guard transfer there, but Jackson Clope will come in, rotate to the bottom. Connor Miller will come out to the point guard position, and will guard Finley. As now he goes to Cole Lockhart. Lockhart hands it off now straight away to Clinton. His three no good. Rebound comes down to Clope. As Clope. <laughs> Takes some arms with him as he gets it out to Connor Miller. Miller. Lockhart was above the yellow volleyball line as when he shot that three-point shot. Hart's running jumper is well short. It comes now to Callaway County. 29-21, the Mustangs on top. 
is a long three coming straight away from Clinton. No good. Tipped around, controlled by Jack McHugh. Jack will hand it off to Miller. Also, Coach Brower chatting with Coach Lane, longtime Laker coach. And several regional titles to his credit. Jack McCune puts down the dribble, goes straight away to Clope towards the right-hand side. Now on the block towards McCune. He turns, pump fakes, pump fakes again. Spade away, strip, but it comes back to Clope on the right side to Miller. It's Miller. Baseline drive, pump fakes, his floater. It's no good. Tipped up and in by McCune. McCune, very faithful, very steady. Stayed right under that basket. As soon as it came off, he just tapped it right back in. Never came down with it. As a right side three up from Callaway County, no good. Also in the house. Jimmy Long is uh, a name many you know. It's Purvis, a left side three. That's good. And that brings a timeout from Callaway County. What a start for the Mustangs. Now leading it 34-21. Coach Cleaver pretty upset. Callaway County has come down three trips in a row, shot three three-point baskets in a row, none of them within four feet of the three-point line. So just come in. I think they're settling. I think they're too, taking too quick of a shot. And uh, if I'm guessing in that, uh, in that huddle right now for the uh, Lakers wearing their dark blue jerseys tonight, we're talking about how to work that ball around, how to get that ball down low. So the Mustangs, a 6-0 run right out of the gates. Great shot by, uh, by Carson Purvis there right in front of his dad. It has been... A fun senior season for Carson, as well as several of our seniors, many of our seniors, all of our seniors, wonderful senior campaigns. How many wins between Coach Long, Coach Berlin, and the retired Callaway coach? Whew. That's a lot. That's a lot of basketball wins, a lot of basketball knowledge in this gym tonight. As Ian Hart, a finger roll, puts one up and in, and you talk about inside McCracken County Schools alone with – Coach Long at Heath for many, many years. Coach Brower at Heath in McCracken County. As it goes towards the right-hand side, a baseline drive from Jonah Butler. Gives it towards the opposite side to Finley. Finley in the lane, floats one up, got it. Finley strong, knows how to get to the rim. I like his play. You talk about three good coaches, you talk about three good guys in Coach Long, Coach Lane, and Coach Lane, excuse me, and Coach Brower. As Purvis. A lot of history in the Western Kentucky. That's for sure. Part of this state. As Miller thought about a step back three, instead will float it towards the right-hand side. 36-23, the Mustangs on top. Clope top the key. Goes towards the left-hand side to Hart, feeds it on the block to McCune. He sizes up his defender. Baseline drive, turns into the paint. Right-hand hook is good. Right now, the Mustangs highly efficient. They are making every trip count so far. As soon as Jack McCune hit that basket, Dustin Roberts jumped up to his feet and said, keep it up. Keep That's it right. Up, pumping his fist. Wants to see his guys keep up that intensity. 38-23, the Mustangs by 15. Finley bring. Miller will walk it up. It's 38-23, the Mustangs by 15. Miller. You gotta, be, you gotta be guarded. Callaway is certainly capable of a uh, of a run. Miller resets in the half court. As he goes straight away to Hart. Back to Miller. Short corner to McCune. Poked away, but McCune gets it. McCune hands it off to Miller. Floater got it. Right great, now, it's great assist, great unselfish play by Jack McCune. The Mustangs running an offensive clinic. They are looking solid. As Finley. Working against Miller, pump fakes, turns, gives it out to Butler, swung to Clinton, back to Butler. Similar to the uh, end of the third and the fourth quarter down in Henderson, uh, or Owensboro playing Henderson on Saturday. Finley gives it up to Connor Lockhart, guarded by Hart. Now towards Butler. Butler on the block to Finley, guarded by Miller, stripped, knock loose, taken away by McCune. Up the floor, taken right back by Callaway County. And then a foul in the backcourt is going to be on Clope. And Coach Roberts was not happy with that decision. And one of the few rare bad decisions made by the Mustangs this quarter. But it's going to be hard to be upset with the Mustangs overall. Trying to rush that ball yes. up and push that ball ahead. One of the uh, one of the McCracken players, Purvis, was actually ahead 
of his defender and had him by a step or two. And so pretty aggressive pass, but uh, you hate to lose on a, uh, on a steal like that. You hate to turn it right back over. 40 to 23, the Mustangs by 17. And absolutely outplaying the Lakers so far this third quarter. As it is Aiden Clinton. Clinton, the left-hand dribble, now goes to Connor Lockhart. Guarded by Klope. Right now, the Lakers stagnant in their offense. And they are trying to find a way to get to Finley, but a great job by Venable as he is absolutely fronting him. Connor Lockhart, crossover, met by a double team, spins away from it, his shot no good. Rebound comes down, back to Connor Lockhart, but he bounds. steps out of bounds. It'll go to McCracken County. Venable fronting him and frustrating him as well. Yes. Jay Venable listens in tonight. Good to hear from you, Jay, as always. More to get to in just a moment as it goes towards the right-hand side. Down low to Clope. Spins, pump fakes, jumper, blocked, recovered by Clope. But I think he commits a foul. He does. Want to give a shout-out to Joe Tracy as well, saying go Mustangs. Get ready to text 270-557-8223. 270-557-8223 for tonight's trivia question by Rafferty's. The leading score right now is McCune at 13. Clope has six. Carson Purvis with eight. Your top three scores right now for the Mustangs. As a floater by Callaway County, no good. Bridges with the board. Clears it to Jack McCune. McCune into the front court. As he's just in front of the half-court logo, as he goes on the wing to Purvis. Purvis, left-hand dribble, goes back to McCune. Thought about a step-back jumper, brings it in, lost it, and it comes out to Callaway County. The Lakers will bring it up. Aiden Clinton to do the honors with 95 seconds left in, in this quarter. Clinton, top of the key, now works right side, gives it out straight away to Butler. Butler on the left-hand side to Lockhart. Is Lockhart back to Butler? Thought about a long three <laughs> behind the back dribble towards the block. His finger, nope, gives it out now towards Connor Lockhart. Back to Butler. Now to Aiden Clinton. Back to Butler. Good defense by McCracken. Wonderful defense. Just not much available for Callaway County. This Mustang team elite defensively is uh, underneath. Now straight goes to the right side to Butler. His three is short. Rebound comes down to Venable. He'll push it up for the Mustangs. 56 seconds left in this third quarter. The Mustangs just lights out defensively. Only two points for Callaway County all quarter. And a timeout for the Mustangs as we keep it right here. The Mustangs led right now. Jack McCune with 13 points. Eight points for Carson Purvis. Six points for Jackson Klopp. And uh, five for Jack Bradley. Overall, pretty balanced scoring around for McCracken County. It really is. And Coach Dustin Roberts, just he called that timeout right there. We had possession. We had two guys that have been sitting at the scores table for a little bit trying to get in. And uh, no stoppage in play. I think it's affecting um, Callaway County as well. Their last three shots have been short. And so it tells me they may be tired in the legs and uh, not able to get that ball uh, completely up there. And so... It's been a uh, it's been a good third quarter. McCracken County outscoring the Lakers 12 to two in this third quarter. And so the Mustangs will have it. 48.9 seconds in this third quarter, leading Callaway County 40 to 23. So Bridges gives it to Hart in the corner. He thought about a three into the lane, had it poked away, gets it back, gives it out now to Bradley. Bradley, a little bit more aggressive defense from the Lakers, gives it to Bridges. Bridges thought about a three, mm. now feeds it down low to Klope. It's Klope, strong move, but it's an offensive foul. Yep, he leaned in. Callaway County Laker player just set up perfectly, waiting for, uh, waiting for that contact. Close may not realize his own size and strength. <laughs> <laughs> so we will have a trivia question coming up right at the end of this quarter. Over information I have given you tonight. What's my prize? Chicken finger salad from Rafferty's. 
fried or grilled. Whatever your heart's delight is. Henley, a baseline drive, cut off. Turns, nice backdoor cut underneath, poked away out of bounds off McCracken County. It'll stay with Callaway County. The chicken tenders I had today from Rafferty's were excellent. It's hard to beat them. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Hard to beat them as it will go in to Finley at the foul line extended. Gives it straight away to Lockhart. Now back to Finley with seven seconds left. I'm not sure he knows it. Finley, now he does. Straight away, kind of forced one up, blocked by Hart. What a fitting way to end that third quarter as the Mustang defense, nothing short of flawless, 40 to 23 after three quarters of play. Get your phone ready and get ready to text 270-557-8223. 270 270-557-8223. And the first one to correctly guess will get a chicken finger salad from Rafferty's. You know, it's pretty amazing tonight, Eric. Finley, uh, who comes in the game for Callaway County, averaging 22 points, has eight. That's uh, Through three quarters. Only has two in the second half. Um, matter of fact, has the only two points in that entire quarter uh, was Finley. And so hats off to McCracken. They've done an exceptional job tonight. Uh, obviously uh, have done our scouting report, knew, uh, knew who we were up against, um, having, um, having a pretty good idea what they're going to be up to. You know the leading scorer. He doubles every other uh, scorer on the team and so played solid defense tonight to be able to take the ball out of his hands. As you pointed out a couple times, Jonathan Venable in that, uh, in that quarter really pestering him, fronting him and frustrating him. That's exactly right. Couldn't have said it better myself. And tonight's trivia question, how many points does Jack McCune have? He is the leading scorer for the Mustangs. Tell me the number, 270-557-8223. 270-557-8223. Jonah Butler, the possession. Now gives it off to Connor Lockhart. We have several guesses. Yes, it goes... We have several that are correct as a left side three coming and perfect. As that is exactly what Callaway County needed, <coughs> excuse me, to start the corner. 40 to 26, the Mustangs on top. It's not what Callaway needed if you're McCracken County. No, not in the least. It's Jack Bradley, the possession for the Mustangs. Hands it off to Ian Hartz. I'll mention the winner in just a moment. As right at the it goes to Hart, no good. Gets it back, no good, but he's fouled. And that brings the ire of Callaway County. Did not agree with that. Cleaver wanted a, uh, an over-the-back uh, foul on Ian Hart uh, to no avail. As, uh, I'll mention the winner in just a moment. The free throw from Hart is good. One more for Hartz. And the second one also good for McCracken County. As it will be Finley for Callaway County. As he goes on the left-hand side of the floor to Jonah Butler, 42-26. The Mustangs, a really surprising 16-point lead as Butler, his fadeaway, no good. Rebound comes down to Hart. He clears it to Bradley, and Bradley will rock it up for McCracken County. I'm surprised Callaway did not seem like they were in a hurry that time. I agree. Down yes. the court. They just kind of set up, and Finley stood on the M and dribbled for a little bit. And If I'm down 16 with six minutes left in the game, I'm lighting a fire. Want to give a congratulations to Joe Tracy. Joe Tracy. Yes, he is the winner tonight. And... Uh, Congratulations to Joe. You win a free chicken finger salad from Rafferty's. I will text you soon on how to claim that. Faithful as listener. He is. Faithful Mustang supporter is McHugh. Double team, turns, fadeaway jumper, rams in. It counts the same if you use three sides of the rim, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. It is Callaway County, the possession. Butler, his spot up three. Got it. He is starting to heat up. Good shot by Butler again. He likes that shot three feet behind the three-point line. 
44-29. The Mustangs by 15. They have not looked back starting this second half. Double-digit lead most of the way in this second half. Backdoor cut to Purvis. Layup's good. Carson Purvis took off for that layup, completely facing away from the basket, able to kind of throw it up behind him. 46-29, Mustangs by 17 as it's deflected underneath. Comes out to Callaway County. Butler putt fakes, penetrates, gives it out now to Colt Basil. He trips, oh. and he is hurting. Gosh. That makes you nervous. He does get up, and he looks to be okay. Down low to Miller. Pump fakes, puts it up no good, but he's fouled. The kind of fault Basil took will always make you gasp, but thankfully he looks okay. I mean, we heard it here, and then you saw it. It kind of threw his head back. And, mm. and he looks to be okay. That is good news. Did okay not. is easy for you to say. Yeah. I'm hurting tomorrow for him. Indeed. As the first one is good from Miller. And so Clope will check back in. Jack McCune gets a breather. Deserved breather. I don't think he's done. I don't either. As it is a second free throw good from Miller. You would never tell me the Mustangs would be up 19 on Callaway County, one of the best teams in this region, 9-1 and one against the region. That lone loss coming at the buzzer against Murray on Friday night. Also one of the better teams in this region is Murray. As all the way to the rim, a deflection is a foul on McCracken County. The Mustangs up 19 on the Lakers. And honestly, you could argue it could be even higher than that. They've just, just kind of done what they wanted to do. Callaway started out um, decent, um, but really from the first quarter, they just haven't, I don't know, hadn't had an urgency. In the second half, they haven't, uh, they've scored eight points the entire second half. As this defense from McCracken County is elite, we're not going to downplay that. They have just bullied Callaway County on the defensive side of the floor. It is Jack McCune on the far right side. I think the Callaway fans are a little stunned. I agree. McCune brings it back out to reset straight away to heart. This is a group. If the Mustangs play like this, sky is the limit on their potential this year. They can play with anybody in this state when they are playing like this as a blocking foul out top on Jonah Butler. And it starts on the defensive side. And that is where the Mustangs have feasted for so many years. Defensive side sets the tone. Yeah. Uh, for the night. And it, uh, it also it frustrates your players. It, it distracts. Uh, on the other end, and it really, uh, it really sets the tone, sets the pace uh, for the night on the offensive end. 48-29, Mustangs in control, 430 left. Backdoor cut to Purvis, layup score. Those are the kind of things that drive your Callaway coach just crazy. I mean, it, it's perfect passes, it's perfect shots. As a dunk on the other end is perfect from Jonah Butler. Wow. How do you do? Wow. wow. That was with emphasis. I would say mom or grandmother is in the stands. I saw a fan jump up. I saw parents right underneath the goal over yep. here. They had a great view of that as Klope, his spin move no good. He goes down, but he's okay. Comes up to McCune. 352, halfway through the fourth quarter, 50-31. As it goes into the backcourt, it's gonna be a backcourt violation. Thought it might have been a deflection off the Callaway player, but apparently not. Just off the leg of McCracken County into the backcourt. So Callaway County holding the basketball out top. Is Finley dribbling around? Not moving at all. It's <laughs> kind of a slow set to this one as Finley now trying to find something to work with at the free throw line. Gets his man by him. Stan throws one up and in. Nice job by Eli Finley to pump fake his man behind him and get the running floater. So good move and good shot, but you can't take 25 seconds That's to right. do that when you're down by, they were down 19 at the time. As McCune gets by his defender, stutter steps to the rim, puts it in easily. There's just no stopping right now the Mustang offense. Jack able to use his body there, avoid the charge, a much, uh, much bigger player um, to create some room. Finley's three no good. Rebound recovered by Callaway County as Butler thought about a three. 
Now he takes a long three. No good. Rebound comes down to Cloak. He can shoot, but that's way out there. He obviously has the green light. He does. I have not seen the coach or heard the coach say don't do it. So, Timeout for McCracken County as it's a full timeout. 2.36 left in the game. We'll keep it right here. A lot of fun games coming up. Friday night, it's a doubleheader. Graves County. It's 6 o'clock, the girls, boys, 7.30. Saturday night at 8 o'clock, Jimmy Garrett and I will be on air for the Mustangs in Christian County at Lyon County. Join us for that. And then Tuesday night, a week from tonight, you and I will have a dandy doubleheader against Murray. Girls at 6, boys at 7.30. That boys contest will be phenomenal. That may be game of the season. Right. Uh, game of the regular season for sure. I think I may have seen um, Destiny Thomas's mom post today that senior recognition Maybe this Friday night. I think that's right. Uh, 540, so that'll happen this Friday night. And uh, she was in her feels, in her feelings, I think. And so uh, shout out to all of our seniors. That'll be a special night here Friday night. Uh, you may want to come out and watch that in person um, to, uh, to join us for that. The uh, McCracken County co-ed squad, I saw their uh, final practice was at uh, – at the high school today, they travel tomorrow, heading to Orlando for their national That's competition. Right. I saw the seniors sign the pad. Uh, several of my buddies, Noah Jeffords, signing off That's from right. Paducah. Congratulations, indeed. Best of luck to them. As Hart will inbound it to Jack Bradley. 52-33 as Bradley receives a foul. You're going to see Callaway County a bit more aggressive as 2.30 left, either trying to foul potentially or at least create steals as quick as they can. <laughs> I thought he was trying to foul, but then when they called him for the, ha the foul, he had held his hands in the air like, <laughs> what'd you call that for? <laughs> you got two minutes left, you're down by 19, you want them to call the foul. That's what are right. we doing? That's right, as Jack Bradley goes top of the key to McCune. McCune on the wing to Bradley, as Bradley looks back to McCune. Now it goes on the wing, back to Bradley. Bradley goes in the corner to Hart. 2.10 left. Mustangs up 52-33. Hart backs his defender in. Into the lane. His finger rolls. Perfect. Great move. A little clear out to give him some room, give him some space. One-on-one -on -one action with the, uh, the left-hand finger roll. That makes it 54-33. Callaway County possession as Butler feeds it off left side. Uh, Lockhart's three is short. Gets his own rebound, though. Hands it off. Cole Basil layup no good. Rebound to Butler as he takes some contact and is fouled on the floor, and the Lakers will have it. I think he kind of leaned away from that contact. If he would have gone straight up trying to put the layup, he would have been uh, he would have been fouled and at the line. But that is team foul number six for the Mustangs. Callaway has six as well. Both teams shoot the bonus after this. As it goes inbounds, a up and under sh acrobatic shot by Butler, no good. Comes back, though, to Basil. As Basil gives it out now to Connor Lockhart. He's open. His three is good. Nice three from Connor Lockhart. Yeah, Basil never looked towards the basket. He looked straight to the three-point line to try to get a shot off from three. And so it'll be Miller, 54-36. As it goes top of the key to McCune, 105. Left in the game, on the wing to Purvis. Now into the corner to Bradley as we have one minute left. Now top of the key to McCune. Now it's a foul away from the ball. It'll be on Callaway County. Look like Finley coming off of a, uh, coming off of a screen. And that'll send the Mustangs to the line for the bonus with Connor Miller to do the honors for McCracken County. Connor Miller's free throw is good. Gives Connor five on the night. He'll have one more. Free throw from Miller's good. Venable checks in, Parrish as well for the Mustangs. And it is a 20-point lead for the Mustangs. Jackson Cloak back into the game as well. So Ian Hart, Connor Miller, and Jack McCune. 
out for the night. Scout Moffitt heads to the scores table. As a running floater from Callaway County, no good. Rebound is out of bounds off the Mustangs. It'll stay with Callaway County. Scout Moffitt will check in now. And a series of Lakers will as well. Wyatt Robbins, also Thomas Grace, Jaden Odom, and looking for the fourth one that just checked in. I think Stephen Lane also checked in. Carson Fulcher checks in for McCracken County. As well as J Jude Crum, excuse me. 43 seconds left as it goes now into Robbins. Picks up his dribble, down on the block now to Oldham. He turns his jumpers good. So Jaden Oldham on the scoreboard. As Venable into the front court, goes on the left-hand side now to Fulcher. As Fulcher to Moffitt. Moffitt crossover all the way to the rim. Puts one off the glass and in. What a move by Scout Moffitt. Makes it 58, 38, 12 seconds left. I think the uh, starters from his bench really enjoyed that. They did. It's a three coming no good from Callaway County. And the Mustangs get the board. What a dominant win for the Mustangs tonight. 58 to 38 over Callaway County as the Mustangs move to 23 and 3. And Callaway County will drop to 20 and 7. Brent Hausman, that's was about as lopsided a second half between two evenly matched teams as you can find. Yeah, it absolutely was. And so McCracken County won all four quarters tonight. Played uh, played good from the very beginning all the way through. Uh, good shooting, but even better defense. Holding a Callaway County team that averages 63.23 points. Averages 63 points a game. They scored 38. So they kept them 25 points below their season scoring average. Indeed, and uh, nothing else you can say for McCracken County, just uh, dominant. And that's a Mustang team, if they play like that, I don't know many teams in this state that can beat them. It's just, how often will they play like that? Well, yeah, and I can tell you, if they uh, they continue to play that way, their last games are played.